Welcome to this week's Swarf and Chips. Now we're joined by a gentleman who's going to be covering a little bit of a specialist area in the industry maybe we haven't talked about before. So this is what's coming up on today's show and I'm joined by Paul and Joe in the studio. Hi Paul, how are you doing? I'm great, Lindsay. You know, the website's absolutely fantastic. It's all about CAD CAM, it's all about machine tools, it's okay. all about MTD. and T it, to Tolling as well. Yeah, 225,000 we're approaching from our social media site, it's fantastic. Oh, brilliant, and, and how are you doing, Joe? Yeah, I'm good, yeah, just on LinkedIn and Twitter. Uh, um, you need to turn it on first, I told you oh. before. Thanks. <laughs> Um, now, I know you guys are off on holiday soon, aren't you? Because I know Colin and uh, Mark are gonna, going to be joining me on the sofa. So, uh, well, any preps? I've got to go because I've got to get my hair cut and I'm going to the gym afterwards. See you later. Okay. I've got to get my hair waxed. <laughs> oh, those speedos are a bit tight. <laughs> Okay, now let's get serious because Colin, Mark and myself are joined by the sales director, Neil Lloyd for FBC Mambi Bowdler. Lovely to have your company, Neil. Lovely to be here. Now, you're a specialist law firm. You're based in the Midlands and we're going to find out lots about your company. But I'd like to know what really connects you to this industry because I think that's the initial reason why we want to connect with yeah. you. Um, so we... Uh, been around for 190 years, almost 200 years, um, based in the black country, servicing businesses mainly across the Midlands but also uh, nationally. Um, and to, to, by the very nature of where we are, as industry is um, at the heart of what we do, and we've been helping manufacturers, I say, for 200 years, and um, we help them day in, day out with. Um, a lot of their needs. So why this industry? Why, why are you dedicated towards manufacturers? Uh, so I think, um, I say it's, it's really around the location we're in. Um, you can't escape the fact that the black country is the heart of manufacturing in this, mm. uh, in the country. Um, a lot of automotive, aerospace and supply chains there. Uh, and uh, yeah, we've, we've been there, we've got a great reputation for helping firms across a whole wide range of their legal needs. And you can affect pretty much any company. What, almost like give us a case study or can we just go through the reasons and you know what you're doing? Because to everyone you're just thinking, right, legal needs, but it's much more than that, isn't it? You go into HR and everything. Yeah, so I think uh, a lot of people think you need a, a solicitor or a, a lawyer when things are going wrong, but actually the majority of the work we do is preventative uh, law. So it's making sure, for example, that your employment policies are totally up to date to accommodate for A, the change in needs in legis legislation, um, but also for the type of people you're employing. So if, you, if you're employing young apprentices, then you need to make sure you've got social media policies, mobile phone policies, um, so that everybody understands you know, what they can and what they can't do. Um, uh, we do a lot of contract law, um, so making sure that uh, your contracts with your suppliers and with your customers are robust enough. Um, of course, you, you never really need to call on your contracts until they go wrong, but mm. you want to make sure that when they do well, go wrong... I had a great yeah. example of engineers I work with. They had a five-year contract, bought a nice big machine, I don't know how much, three or four hundred thousand pounds, and then after about 12 months, lost it. So you probably could have helped them. Too late now, but... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, a great piece of advice there. Yeah. <laughs> but learning experience. It's true. As you guys know, I've been in this industry a long time, and, and <laughs> when, long. When, when you go to end users... <laughs> let's say smaller companies, because mm. I know that you've you, you, you worked with some very, very big companies, but the smaller SMEs, uh, a few employees, you know, they're more important of actually getting a job, get it out for the customer, job done. You know, do you find that, you know, being a solicitor and talking about some of the things they need to be looking at, is it an awkward sort of subject to embrace with some of these smaller companies? So, so you're right in terms of, so we, we deal with, companies that you know across a wide range so they might employ two people they might employ 2,000 20,000 people um, but you, you you can't ignore the legal aspects of a, of a transaction if you're selling goods or manufacturing goods and selling them on then there will be a contract somewhere and you need to make mm. sure that that's uh, as robust as possible um, is it, it but it is it is ignored some people mm. you know a lot of manufacturers will have had their contracts drawn up by uh, their friendly solicitor 10 years ago yeah. and they'll still be using them today. They're not valid anymore um, then. <laughs> uh, well, they'll find out when they go wrong and that's yeah. the problem. You don't know yeah. what you don't know. Mm. So Neil, 
What makes your company different from other law firms? I mean, if, for instance, I was walking down the high street and I've, I've got a, uh, an issue, for instance, within my company, why can't I go into the, the local solicitors? What makes you different? Well, I think you need to be using a law firm that's got the depth and breadth of experience that we've got um, through all the years of working alongside manufacturing businesses and helping them get through the, you know, the specific issues that they, that they face in, in what they do. Can you give us a bit of a, a case study, if you don't mind, you know, for anyone who's watching, just a couple of examples of what you can provide. I know you've got like the whole sector, but just a couple of examples maybe that someone could connect with. Yeah, so I think you've got, uh, you know, we live in a, 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 a world at the minute, so we've got Industry 4.0s on, you know, it's coming down the track pretty fast, isn't it? Um, so you've got uh, data protection issues in terms of you know, a lot of suppliers now are sharing data between themselves and you know, what happens right. if you're se sending data to a supplier, the supplier gets hacked, mm. data goes, who's responsible yeah. for that? So you need to make sure that your contracts and it's pretty clear about who's responsible for yeah. what. Um, we talked about social, I brought up social media earlier. Mm. You want to make sure your employees are being responsible when they're posting about what they're yeah. doing in the workplace. And this is, well, you know, you just think, oh, that's the future, but it's now, it's now isn't, isn't it? Yeah. It's like no more posting on Facebook. <laughs> no. No. Oh, sorry, yeah, but no more. <laughs> you can't, they can't talk about the company, they can't talk about potential clients, and, you know, right. it's all data protection and everything. Right, okay. Um, the, the other thing I like about your company is, is your branding. Now, I, I, I've been at a number of different manufacturing companies, and there's a, there's a thing called Bloodhound, and I think there's a yeah. name on there. Now, oh. is that quite a big thing for you to, to actually sort of brand into the marketplace? So it, uh, so it is. So we've been um, sponsors of Bloodhound now for a couple of years, and so it's a, yeah, it's a really exciting adventure. Sure. Um, we, Wolverhampton was the home of Sunbeam Motors. Uh, they built a Sunbeam Slug, which was the first car to go over 200 miles an hour. You Sunbeam probably Sunbeam remember Sunbeam. that, wouldn't you? Yeah. Um, so <laughs> what we, what, by sponsoring um, Bloodhound and being involved in Bloodhound, what we're doing is trying to keep um, Wolverhampton's connections with the land speed record okay. together. But we have then used um, you know, the educational resources that Bloodhound provide uh, are immense. So we're then able to use those within schools to get, and we do it with primary schools, but to get primary school children to start doing a bit of investigation. Well, what is this bloodhound thing? What do you mean it's going yeah, to create yeah. land speed records? Um, so we run competitions in, you know, in the local press to design new adverts and stuff. So uh, yeah, it's good. I mean, first run is uh, October 26th at Newquay Airport and there's public days following. So it's, we're really looking forward to it, really It's excited. not just about children and bloodhound and children's schools, you do bursaries and um, apprenticeships and things like we that? We do, so for, um, uh, for uh, engineering students at, that go to Wolverhampton University um, and study motorsport engineering there. We provide bursaries um, to some of the students there. Um, and we sponsor the Formula 3 team, so you'll often see us out and about on race tracks. Um, the next race is at Snetterton, which isn't too far away from here, is it? So that's um, mm. a couple of weeks, so we'll be there supporting them on as, um, as they go for the championship. So you're mainly based in the Midlands, but your work is across the board. And also, um, you're dealing with import, export as well, is that right? Yeah, we do. So we're part of um, uh, a worldwide network of law firms, uh, and uh, which helps us then help um, manufacturers that are looking to export um, or are importing. Um, so if we've got a customer in Dudley that's looking to export into Mexico, then we can help them in terms of providing the legal advice to make sure it goes as smoothly as possible. Big impact with Brexit then, potentially? Potentially, yeah. yes. Um, Try that uh, yeah, thanks <laughs> for that one. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> cut, cut. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it's just a lot of unknowns, isn't there, unknown yeah. with Brexit. So, yes, we're on hand to advise manufacturers, um, or all types of businesses, but manufacturers, um, uh, you know, what our thoughts are. We'll give them our thoughts, but mm. who knows? Because uh, I suppose the other thing as well, a lot of companies are expanding, so I, I presume you're helping them with the property side as well. We do, so... We, um, Obviously, two ways you can buy property. So you can you can either lease premises that somebody else owns, or you can buy your own. Um, and there are some innovative ways of funding those now through yeah. pension schemes and the like. Um, so yeah, we've we've got a big commercial um, property department that's helping businesses buy mm. new new uh, space. And it might be they're buying existing buildings or they're building from scratch, mm. which is happening more and more these days as more land gets freed up by. Um, also, said so buying properties and got that acquisitions and mergers, and also selling your business. You involved in that sort of things? Yeah, we are. Um, we've got a pretty um, busy corporate team in terms of mergers and acquisitions. Um, typically, what we're seeing is people are buying capacity. 
Mm. Uh, yeah. So where they're in, um, <coughs> so they're in the automotive supply chain, lead more capacity, so they're buying businesses, um, or they're buying complementary businesses. So they might be very heavily focused in the automotive sector, mm. and they're merging with a firm that's in the defence sector, and they're just trying to balance the mm. portfolio a little bit more. Yes. Uh, so yeah, there's and there's a lot of activity. So really, a lot of the time you're preventative, aren't you? You know, when yes. you said at the beginning of, of, of the show, it's all about preventative and getting involved with companies. So really, if any company within the manufacturing, the engineering industry need to contact a yeah. company that can help them involving with expansion, investments and everything, you're the company to go for. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, and, and we will, um, you know, we, we do, we're not. Um, we don't charge for every minute that we spend with people, um, contrary to opinion. But so we will do reviews. So we will review um, businesses' contract documentation for free and give them advice. We do the same for employment contracts, um, and the same for their debt management process. So how are they, um, you know, how are they collecting the debts in that they're owed? How are they managing the, the people that aren't paying on time? Um, so we get, um, and we do that for free, and we advise people what they need to do. I think another key point is don't speak to you guys when it's actually happened, someone's posted something on Facebook or mm. your lease or you've lost a contract, do it now so you prepare, yeah. it's yeah. ready to, and yeah, it's correct. You need, to be, you, know, you need to be looking two, three years ahead, don't yeah. you? Um, and planning for what's mm. coming around the corner. Because mo most engineers, you know, they're, they're, they're running the company, they've got all that pressure of getting the end product out to the customer. Uh, you know, what you offer is not the sexy part of engineering, but no. it, it's a big part of mm. how to run a company, isn't it? It is. A, 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 my, I, I mean, all of manufacturers and engineers and what, yeah. what, what they can do and their capability, just leave the legal stuff to us. You yeah. get on with, running, running yeah. you get on with what you can you do and, it, and we'll sort it. this out. Exactly. Neil, thank you so much for joining us here on Ask Wolf and Chips. And we'll put all of your details on the screen. FBC, Mambi, Bowdler as well. However, before you go, right. <laughs> I'd like to give you a little thank you. And this is your Swarf and Chips mug. So what's your favourite drink? Oh, a nice cup of tea. Oh, a cup of tea. Nothing nothing stronger. No, no. no. It's a bit early, isn't it? <laughs> it is, right? <laughs> <Actually, early. actually. laughs> Thank you for joining Brilliant. us here, Neil. Thanks ever so much. Really appreciate Thanks. it. Enjoyed. And now it's time for the Cycle Time Challenge, where Paul is over at RK Engineering. Cycle Time Challenge. Yeah, we've got an interesting one for you today. I'm an RK Engineering in Atherston. Tom, what do you do on a Friday? Watch Swarf and Chips. That's what we always like to hear. Right, Cycle Time Challenge this week. Can we pick up this uh, part here? This is, the, this is the, how the component starts. Yeah, that's how we receive the part into us, yeah. Okay, and now what we're going to do is pick up a finished part and we'll talk through how you get to this if you're strong enough to hold both. So just tell us, Tom, it's obviously turning on this isn't it yes yeah just purely turning yeah turning groove threading and how many machines do you do this on because I'm assuming you do kind of op one uh, and then op two yeah yeah we do op ones turning all the way across up the face and over the top of the spigot and then we hold on the spigot and produce op two and we can see here by looking at this component how much stock material is yeah, to we be go down from about 76 mil to 30 mil finished Okay, so there you have it. It's a quick one. Just a quick word from RK Engineering again. What, what do you guys do here? I know we've seen this, but in addition to this? Uh, we're mainly hydraulic blocks, but really, we're, we're anything material-wise, we'll cut anything. Uh, on your lead well machines, which on I like to ones, hear. Yeah. So this is this week's Cycle Time Challenge. How fast do we get from, from that casting down to a finished part? Back to the studio. Impressive part, guys. What do you think? Casting, I think. Uh, turned on both sides, um, so not much removal of uh, material. material. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking of numbers rather than words. 23 minutes. Oh. 23. As much as it pains me to agree with you, Mark. Yeah, obviously turn, a lot of material removal. 28 minutes. 28. Yep. So 23 and 28. My age, remember that. Not really. Don't think so. No. <laughs> well, it's not up to the guys, it's up to you. This is your cycle time challenge. So make sure you put your guesses in the comments box below and on our social media channels. We do have a prize up for grabs and we will be announcing the winner next week. MTD on location. Tony, brilliant to be back here at Mill CNC. We've come to learn about what's going to be happening at an up and coming event. Tell us what the event is and when it is. 
The event is Strokes of Genius Live and it's on the 18th and 19th of October. And it's here in Leamington Spa, correct? Correct, it's our technology campus in Leamington Spa. Now always, always lots of innovation coming out of Doosan and Mill CNC. Some of the points I've got here that people can see at the show include new control technology. Is that important? It's very important. Operators, programming of jobs, ease of transferring programs between machines. So yes, one of the controls that we're going to have on demonstration is the new Siemens 15 inch touchscreen control. So that touchscreen control, is that going to be available on a lot of the machines throughout the range? It will spread across the range, but at the moment we're bringing in it on our DNM vertical machining centres. OK, next point I've got here is the Puma lathes. Now I know the 2600 fairly well. What's changed? Well again, everybody knows Puma lathes, of course, uh, and we're never standing still as far as new technologies and new advancements are concerned. But on the new 2600SY, Doosan have done a lot of work on basically improving performance, improving accuracy, improving run out. Um, there's a lot of new features on the new Puma. Well, we, I know we're going to come back and look at some of these points in more detail in weeks to come before the event, but we can't leave this interview without talking about automation as well. What, what can people expect to see on the automation side? Well, from an automation point of view, you've got Hydrofeed, which are going to be displaying their RoboJob um, automation system, which again is going to be on a DNM. Uh, they're also going to be doing a seminar on automation. Uh, while we're talking about seminars, we've also got Sambic showing their latest prime term product. They're doing a seminar on that, and you can see it cutting live as well. Sounds like plenty to look forward to. Just remind us uh, what the event is called, when it is, and where it is. Strokes of Genius Live, 18th, 19th of October, here, Leamington Mills Technology Campus. MTD Network. We're now on the set of the network and Colin, you've been out doing capacity videos. They're new, aren't they? They are, that's right. And what are they? Well, they're videos about capacity, Lindsay. <laughs> oh, Colin. Okay, for everyone though, can you explain? Okay, so you're an engineer, you've got a little bit of sp spare capacity on your machine. How are you going to get that out to the world, promote it, advertise it? Mm -hmm. Will you put it on Twitter, LinkedIn? What are you going to do? We're going to do a 30 second video in front of your machine. It's not just about the machine, it's what you can actually make on that machine. So we'll give you a 30 second example of what it can do, sell that capacity to the world. Okay, and let's kick start, loft lock precision. Great example. Have they got a new machine? Is it a YCM five axis mill? They've got the YCM, but what they've actually done as well is they've expanded, they've actually got nine new machines. Nine new machines. Yeah. How so, do you just acquire nine new machines? Uh, well, they've actually bought next door, so that's oh. how they've expanded. So. They've got a lot of work going on. They're aerospace accredited, like aluminium, but not just those types of components. But uh, yeah, get in contact with Jim at Loftlock. Right, l and Precision. Precision. Um, they're making small to large batch work. They are, they turning. like, they like, well, turning and milling. So okay. they've got some XYZ mills, they've got some uh, sliding head lays. They do like the intricate parts of bespoke one off and design and things like that. But they've got the sliding head lathe, does big batch runs, runs 24 seven. So got a bit of capacity there. So get in contact with Richard and the team there. Right, BCMZ, what are they doing on their Nakamura? Some great components on that. Again, a little bit of capacity on that. In the video, they, well they've actually got two Nakamuras. Um, they've got this assembly, so four components all coming together, cracking piece of work on the, on the Nakamura. So turned, so get in contact with Glenn and Kevin at, at, at that. BCM set. Thank you very much. And CJS, it's a CJS CNC, yes. a challenge to say. Sorry, Chris. But yeah. um, they love a challenge as well. They it's do. not about batch work there, is it? Some, right. so, don't get me wrong, they'll do batch work, but. Not the big sort of 10,000 and things like that. No. They like a challenge. They like the one or bespokes, re, um, re engineering things, reverse engineering. So any challenge like that. Get in touch with Chris and team at CJS CNC. It's quite nice to actually see all your different companies on the network providing different, oh, uh, yeah. you know, work, batch work, you know, one-offs. Yeah. Um, we've got Empire Manufacturing. They've got nine star machines. Does that mean they've got a lot of capacity? Not lots, Or no. just the odd star machine that they've got? They've got a little bit of capacity on their machines, but the fact they've got these star sliding head machines, so they do like the big batch runs, but also recently invested in some solid cam software. We did mention this the other week. Mm -hmm. So... When you think slide ahead lays with a bar fed, you're thinking big, big runs. But because the, the software works so well, they're actually doing smaller runs that are still cost effective. So a great example. Okay, that's Empire Manufacturing. Empire Manufacturing Last yeah. but not least is Wilbar Components. Yes. We know the guys here. Our friend Gareth. Yes, what's their capacity? Um, well, they've got um, milling cell and turning cells. They've got a lot of Herco machines and Hass machines. They've got a little, well, they're really well known for their hydraulic parts. 
where they do, they manufacture a lot of components and assemble them for hydraulic couplings and things like that. They do have a bit of spare capacity on the mills and also on the lathes. Brilliant, thank you so much, Colin. You know, if you're a company out there and you're maybe wanting to subcontract some work out, or it, of course, if you need some parts ma made, head over to the network. This is just a few of the companies that we have on the network and with capacity. So it's a great uh, platform, isn't it, Colin? Yeah, in the videos, 30 seconds snip, you can see how, what, they, what they can manufacture and really show off their skills. So. Thanks, Colin. Chip Chat. So now it's time to find out the latest industry news. You've got three minutes. Well, Paul sometimes goes over, so you've got a little uh, bit longer. It always goes over. <laughs> it on. does. Right, Kuka, this is an amazing video. Talk to us about it. We had a great opportunity to go and see the guys down in London, um, AI print build. They have taken 3D printing to another level. So 3D printers, additive and subtractive manufacturing. These guys are actually using a robot. So they're taking it outside the X, Y and Z axis. So this robot gives them six axes, so they can print things five, well, one of the components or structures they made was five meters in size, it's huge. Wow. So, so is, is it just about the size of it then, or is it more from the point of view of bespoke sort of items? It's bespoke items, but also with the, with the KUKA robot, it gives them speed, flexibility, accuracy, and repeatability. Yeah, I almost think it's revolutionary, but it's not. But it's yeah. actually the size, it's the technology, but taking it to the next level, but isn't it? But also the freestanding, because this doesn't need support when it's being printed. Wow. So it's really, really impressive stuff. And, so and they design the software, don't they, on this? The software. These guys have got the brain the size of planets, even bigger than <laughs> ours, I know. But, wow. <laughs> uh, the software itself, they designed it, and the robots and software are learning all the time. So it's really, really impressive stuff. Right, okay, moving on, we've got Eclipse, um, the Renishaw video. Um, talk to us about this, please, because I want to know why they're choosing Renishaw as well. Yeah, again, um, Renishaw are very well known for other parts measuring uh, metrology, but one other part of their business is additive manufacturing, uh, and Simon here used to work for Renishaw and helped design the first machines. Now, these machines that you see here, uh, apart from... Uh, Eclipse, which is uh, a partner with SPE, you know they, they're offering this system and the the knowledge of additive manufacturing and it's sort of motorsport, uh, aerospace to a certain extent. Medical. And, uh, well, they're trying to get into medical, mm, yeah. but there is sort of problems with certain areas of that. But you know, they're, they're, one thing he says in this video, that which I love, he says ninety five percent efficiency of what they're doing compared with 10% of actually machining the mm. same part. So machining, they're taking all that material away here, yeah. they're added, obviously added it on. Yeah. But also in terms of materials, if 3D printing, you're thinking sort of plastics and that sort of thing, mm. whereas, so which is ABS and PLA, but these guys... Metallics. Yeah, so yeah. steels, ink and nails. Well, it's, it's different formulations to be, to be fair, but you know, if, if you yeah. want a subcontractor who's got the knowledge, he helped design the machines. Yeah. Fantastic right. company. Okay, got to move on as well. So we've got MCM. T. Let me say, say yeah. <laughs> just about, just about. Um, we, they are the March's Centre of Manufacturing and Technology. Uh, they're opening soon. They're having an open day. But what's amazing is more than forty young people have signed up to be amongst the first cohort of students at the March's. This is yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Well, th there's a lot of partners, as you uh, you know, with this, and we're going to be exclusively there. I think at the end of September. Twenty nine, well, isn't it? Yes, yeah. uh, and they're launching, so th we're going to have a big presence there but yeah again it's, it's such a great way of actually getting you know young people into engineering getting printed because they've got uh, they've got mills lays fabrication everything mm. like that in the yeah in the facility and, and the benefits of these these places in the uk is, is that it's getting engineers you know or young engineers ready for the outside world so they they've used a machine they've programmed a machine for instance and basically you're in, in a subcontracting company, I can use a machine. There's a nice connection as well, because yeah. I know Neil from earlier at Manby Bowdler and also at Incom, they've mm. got Gareth, some yeah. you know real yeah. connection here and backing and funding helping Yeah, it's here. fantastic, it's great. Mm. Yeah. So, and last but by no means least, we're talking about X-Track. Yeah, love it. I'll tell you what, <laughs> motorsport, my, my baby there. But um, X-Track are very well known for um, lots of different things, but really transmissions is where they're at. And uh, we went there with Mitutoyo. They've got lots of uh, different products from uh, um, Mitutoyo, but six CMMs. But the, the complex parts of gears, like this Formula One engine that you're seeing here at the moment, 
that that it has to be precision engineered and it needs to be measured and this video is about how Mitotoil have become their big partner on there's a few reasons as well isn't there mark because a location for particularly extract but also they've got the biggest catalog of products and so they're really enjoying using That's Mitotoil. not just CMMs, is it no, no, they've got, they've got other form tracers, for instance. They've got other, other things there to help them, you know, make sure that their customers, when that's, you know, they're racing wherever around the world, mm -hmm. that that component is not going to actually foul the engine or foul the gearbox, for instance. Another key thing that came out from that video was their support as well. So if any of these guys are having a bit of difficulty, whatever it is, email, phone, and they get a response straight away so yeah. they can keep, keep working, essentially, and give them... And, and the great thing about the motorsport industry is that they might be quiet now, but as I say, in another month's time, it goes rapidly into next season. <gasps> oh, it's time, it's time, time's up. Sorry, oh, we did all uh, right. Uh, no, 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 no. We did all right. No, you haven't. You're not allowed. Thank you, guys. Again, it's always good to hear the latest industry news as well. However, let's find out the deal of the week. Deal of the week. MTD CNC are back in Kenilworth today. We're at White House Machine Tools. We've come to look at an X demonstration machine tool which is for sale. This is the Brother Speedio R650. If you come into the machine here, you'll see that this is a twin pallet vertical machining center. The pallet changing time on this is just over three seconds at 3.4 seconds. The idea behind a twin pallet machine is obviously you can load here while the actual machine is cutting to reduce your non-cutting time. That's what the Brother machines are all about. The work holding on this machine needs to be discussed. It's not part of the X demonstration deal. If we come around the side of the machine, the first thing that I'm going to talk about here on this side is the control. There's been some improvements in the control from Brother. It's got a faster processing time than its predecessor and also some of the servo motors on this machine have changed and are much faster, which means if you're a current Brother user, you may experience improvements in your cycle times as a result of the combination of those two factors just by running the same program through the control. Into the machine, let's talk about some of the statistics of the machine. The x-axis travel is 650 and the y-axis is 400. You've actually got a turning diameter of 1250 millimeters. The machine itself has a 16,000 RPM spindle. It's got 22 tools. It's a BBT machine, so it's a big plus spindle face of taper, so you know you've got a machining rigidity and stability from this tool mount. Uh, it also comes with through spindle coolant, and you can see this machine is about speed, it's about productivity. You've got a tool change time when you're looking at the 22 station tool change, a chip to chip of 1.7 seconds, and tool to tool is 0.9 seconds. What I really like about this machine is the spindle from start to stop time of 0.15 of a second. Let's come around the back here. Um, if you look at here, we don't actually have a swarf conveyor and there's no need for a swarf conveyor. You can use the flub wash to push the swarf into the back of the machine and then you can literally remove the swarf from there. Everybody's looking to save space. If you don't need a swarf conveyor, it's obviously advantageous. The machine is very environmentally friendly as well. Low power consumption. It uses, uh, if, I'm, if I'm looking here in the brochure, it actually uses, it's very envi environmental performance. It uses LED type work lights, highly efficient spindle motor. And as I said already, this machine is available here, X-Stock, X-Demonstration from White House Machine Tools here in Kenilworth. If you're looking for productivity, speed and performance, not to, not to forget the reliability and the quality of the Brother Machine Tool, you can contact White House Machine Tools direct or see this machine on mtdcnc.com. Thank you for watching this week's Swarf and Chips. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and put your cycle time challenge guess in the comments box below or on our social media channels. Now, if you want to watch any previous episodes, click on the links here. And as we always say, keep those spindles turning.